Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mark Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for November 20th, 2022, around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about this afternoon, including a potential tropics threat that is shaping up across portions of the Caribbean over the next couple of days. So it's going to jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic today, we noticed that we still have a few systems out there worth monitoring. First of all, we have a conglomerate of tropical waves that is located east of the Windward Islands right now. This will be sliding westward over the next couple of days, bringing some inclement conditions to portions of the island chain. And then we have a cold front out across portions of the southeast U.S. right now, bringing some inclement conditions to portions of Florida today. Now taking a look here at portions of the Windward Islands and Lesser Antilles today, the weather is going to be pretty good. Although some passing clouds from time to time, the overall weather conditions will remain pretty sunny though. Temperatures getting up there close to about 90 degrees in some areas, otherwise mostly in the upper to mid 80s. Rainfall though will be increasing over the next couple of days. And now taking a look at the Western Caribbean, we are also monitoring an area of shower and thunderstorm activity over Panama and towards portions of Nicaragua and Honduras. This will be moving inland over the next couple of hours, bringing some shower and thunderstorm activity. Temperatures generally in this region sitting comfortably in the low 70s for now, but temperatures could reach the upper 80s sometime later this afternoon. And now taking a look at the Gulf of Mexico states this afternoon, we notice a large area of mostly light to moderate rain and cloud cover across the area. This is a result of a cold front and warm front sliding eastward and northeastward. And so you're getting a lot of moisture kind of overrunning these two boundaries here. And this is leading to increased rainfall across portions of Florida today. Wide area of cloud cover stretching all the way from Texas all the way through portions of the southeast U.S. And this is keeping temperatures down, especially uh, post-frontal air is down into the 40s in some locations. And taking a look at what's going on across portions of Florida today, we notice that there is a large area of light to moderate rainfall. Heavier rain down there across portions of Miami-Dade, Collier counties, up towards portions of West Palm Beach. And this area of rainfall will be sliding generally northward, and we've got eastward moving rain and north and eastward moving rain over the next couple of hours. Just a wet, gloomy day out there. And now turning our attention to what could be going on in the Western Caribbean over the next couple of days. We have several disturbances that could be shaping up. This is the GFS future cast here. We notice that there is a plume of rainfall that decides to move westward over the next couple of days. This is a tropical wave that we've been talking about east of the Windward Islands. And this might go on to produce a little bit of tropical cyclone activity. You can see at the end of the run that there is a little bit of a spin up that we might have to talk about. And that is worth mentioning. Now, if we look at the wind shear forecast for this particular system, we notice that it's not going to be particularly strong, at least in the short term. So the wind shear department is actually uh, anomalously favorable. However, towards the end of the run here, within about five to seven days, we start to get this area of surface high. This looks like a surface high that is developing over across portions of Cuba and kind of retrogates back over across portions of the Florida Straits. And this actually could cause a little bit of shear over the next couple of days, preventing this system from really developing. Of course, it is almost December. And with that being said, I do think that it is starting to be quiet out there. Now, if we look at the actual track forecast for this particular system, this is not official, but this is just my thinking here. Uh, we notice that there is the potential that this may strengthen a little bit. We're talking about 25 to 30 knots of wind, uh, pretty far away from that surface low. Uh, but this continues and likely will make its way into the Central and Western Caribbean by sometime next weekend as a non-tropical area of low pressure. After that, it's a little too early and too soon to determine if this might become anything tropical, but my opinion, honestly, is that this won't. Now, what we do know here is that there will be a lot of moisture in the atmosphere that will be sliding westward over the next couple of days. Those warmer colors in those oranges and kind of the yellow colors, this indicates higher moisture content in the atmosphere, more potential for rainfall, heavy rain, flooding, 
This all will be associated with these two systems. You notice that cold front sliding south into portions of the Caribbean. That might kickstart some development, but again, either way, there's going to be heavy rainfall sliding westward. Portions of the island chain will be impacted. Again, not really seeing much in the way of tropical development at this time, but certainly increased rainfall. And finally, taking a look here at the temperatures across the United States over about the next six days, it is going to be quite cold, although there will be some moderating temperatures across portions of the central U.S. And so temperatures actually might rebound back into the 50s, 60s, and potentially low 70s for afternoon highs before another cold front begins to dip south over the next couple of days into portions of late next week and next weekend where we could be dealing with temperatures back in the 20s and 30s for overnight lows across most of the U.S.